Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Story Mode. Today we are starting episode 4, A Block and a Hard Place. So I'm very excited to start. Hopefully you guys will enjoy watching this and let's just get started. So I haven't played Previously in quite a while, but Story this will tell us. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks? is up to those who wield them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Where am I? What's going on? What is all this? What's that awful smell? Come on, I'm gonna get you out of here. What? Who are you? <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, where are you? Say something, Jesse! We're coming! No way, no way! You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? We need to get out of here now! This way! Jesse, you made it! And... Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! <laughs> Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch! I'd be condemning them to death! Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger! You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there! Jesse! They're falling behind! Axel, you gotta move faster! She's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam! Can we build a portal? If somebody has the right materials... We don't. I haven't seen Obsidian since the end. Then we'll have to use the next best thing. Everybody, get on! We got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got Petra! Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. Ah! Come on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I looked. Everyone, follow me! This is Jesse, the worst look ride out. of my life! Axel, stop backseat steering! I can't help it. I'm getting horse sick.
It's gaining on us! No offense, but you could use a little practice. First time on a horse here! Watch it! You try to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. freaking made it! Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I... I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel! It really is you! Oh! I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you! <sighs> Who are you people? It's me, Eligard. Come on. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You. You're the one who rescued me! Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there! You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive, which is more than I can say for some of us. Magnus, for a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! All I know is he'd want us to keep fighting, no matter what. And for us to keep blowing the crap out of stuff. <laughs> You're right. He would. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? You tell me. Excuse me? Well, you're the one who thought we could destroy the command block with a big old bomb. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is! Oh, great! And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. 
Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? Soren, why didn't it break? The Formidabomb was, like, the strongest weapon imaginable. Oh, uh, why are you asking me? Nobody's ever built one until now. Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... If they were just trapped in the Wither Storm... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know. And that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. Not with three wither storms raging. You're right, they do need you. And the best way to help them is to help us beat that monster. That sounds right. But it just doesn't feel right, Jesse. But Lucas... Look. You and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. Leftover cobblestone might come in handy. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, uh, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, that all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't your fault, it's Ivor's. Who wouldn't do something stupid for a diamond? But without my help, Ivor wouldn't have- Wouldn't have wanted revenge on Gabriel? Believe me, he would have found another way. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can- Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No, no way. I'm not a quitter. We're not saying you are. Petra, you need to keep fighting. There's no time to sit around relaxing in some cave. Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Knew you'd understand. Just give me a little time to catch my breath, and I'll be fine. This is a bad idea, Jesse. Yeah, well, it's Petra's call to make. Petra, you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Jesse. I just need to rest for a bit. I'm glad you came along. 
Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Soren. I said I needed some space, Jesse. Actually, you said you needed time to think. So, did you think of anything? Not really. I'll let you know if I do. with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. She's only the greatest engineer ever to put her hands to redstone. Sounds impressive. What can I say? It is. And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. She's your friend. She's been your friend for a very long time. Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past, something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. I don't think so. I told that story way too many times. Which is why it might help. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. Ender Dragon, scariest thing alive, right? Well, for most of the battle, it looked like we were goners. But you know who finally slayed that beast? Um, was it Jesse? What? No! It was you, Gabriel. You slayed it. Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly, but I want to express my gratitude. You can thank me by watching out for me and my friends. This fight isn't over yet. Very well. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. <laughs> Sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Reuben! <laughs> oh, not again. Reuben! Run off on me like that, okay? I don't want to lose you, you understand? Yeah, I know you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said, isn't it? Oh, just as you once helped us before. This isn't about the past, it's about the future. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for... Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha! He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No. I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. 
It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correct. Could you coordinate the Endermen somehow? Make them attack all at once? If I know my Endermen, all we'd need to do is get them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh! Question is, how to bring the storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not from mere mortals. The Witherstorms are already chasing us. If we just get them to chase us to your fortress again... Yes! Yes, that's it! They'll be caught between a rock and a hard place! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabone. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, for just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Are you saying you know how to destroy the command block? I'm saying there might be a way. What way? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it! It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book! Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? I can't believe it found us so quickly. It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. So what do we do? Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel... Ivor? Well, I'll be. It is you. A pleasure, as always, Eligard. Hello. My name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. But you could be killed. There's no way I can let you do that, Axel. You don't understand. I'm not asking. I thought you'd trust me by now. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Jesse, I'm going with him too. Like you said, I need to keep fighting. 
Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him now. Well, never thought I'd be saying this, but Ivor, lead the way. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The builder bump? You got it. <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. We've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Perlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Hold on, back up. What exactly are the Far Lands? Are you being serious? The far lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now. Not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> Alright guys, well, I think we're going to have to end off the episode right here. So in the next episode, we'll go ahead and go to the Far Lands and collect some food. So guys, I had a lot of fun this episode. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun with me. And if you did, make sure to be like and a comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.